What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to install Pokemon Randomizer onto your Steam Deck. Because if you're like me, you probably spent hours searching the internet trying to find answers how to get this thing to work on your Steam Deck. Because there's, for some reason, there's no answers. But you're going to find them here. Because I spent the longest time trying to figure out how to get this thing to work, and I finally did it. Took forever, but I finally did it. So, first, obviously, install this Pokemon Randomizer, this one, this version right here. There will be links in the description. Um, you download it. Then, in your downloads folder, you'll find it here. Then you just extract it, delete the, the zip file. Then you'll find it here. Um, I took out the uh, the things here, the right here. You'll find them. You'll double click it, and you'll find it won't open, even though it literally says in the README, just double click on the launcher, and it'll work. Well, it doesn't work because you need to have Java. You need to have Java installed on your Steam Deck. But not only installed, you need to have it set up into your thingamabob so that it actually, you know, uses Java. It's not enough to just install it, you actually have to put it in places for it to work. So this is the Java I installed. Time64 compressed archive. I don't know if, if there's a better version. I just found this one and I used it and it works. So if it works, that's good enough for me. Download Java. And after you download it, it goes to your downloads and you extract it. After you've installed it and you've extracted it to your downloads folder, it'll look like this with all of its contents. What I did was I went to my home, I went to my applications, and I made it, uh, I brought it over here. After that, you go back and you will find bash.bashrc. If you don't find it, just go up here, show hidden files. It's right there. You want to copy this down. I'll put it in the description. Copy it down, paste exactly this. Make sure you put your thing in the application, like I said, so that you don't have to do any changing or changing anything up. You just put this down and it's done. If you do decide to download a different version, make sure you set the name correctly or whatever, who cares? Boom, like that. That makes the Java work. I don't know how it makes it work, I just know it does. Save. After you've saved, type Java dash version. If it shows this, that means it's working and you're good to go. After that, go to your Pokemon randomizer Make sure these two things are in the same folder, which is why I just removed them from the original folder. And I put them right here for easy access. Pokey Rando is what I named it. Never mind. Don't go there. Go back. Go to the folder where you have these two things located. Click on it. Open the terminal so that you don't have to do the whole path thing. It's kind of annoying to type. You're going to want to click dot forward slash and then the launcher. Oops. You have to make sure capitals matter. So if it finds you could not find directory or file path, it doesn't exist because you're not using capitalization, which I found out the hard way and took me way too long to figure out because no one tells you that for some reason. I guess it's just common knowledge. They think, but it's not. It's really not if you know if you don't know anything about this put that you're going to click enter but what you will find is that uh you don't have permission what on your own steam deck you don't have permission so what you're going to want to do is you're going to type still on the same uh folder thing you're going to type to give you access ch mod space plus x space and then 
the name of your launcher, which is launcher unix.sh. You're going to hit enter. It's not going to say anything. That's fine. That means it worked. It, it, it Well, it doesn't mean it worked, but it worked. It doesn't need to say anything. Now, after that, you're going to try to launch the, again, launch Unix, but you're going to find that, uh-oh, it's actually missing a file. It's missing something. What? I thought it came everything everything you needed. Well, uh, it does everything you needed, but you actually need to convert it into some, uh, I don't know, Unix thing. I don't really understand it, but you have to do this. So what you're going to type is dos, D-O-S, two, Unix, then the name of the script, which is launcher underscore for me, Unix dot S-H. After that, it's going to do a little thing, blah, 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 magic. Suddenly, it should work. So then after that, after it's been uh, converted and whatnot, you're going to type that dot forward slash launcher again underscore unix dot sh you're going to hit enter and whoa it finally opens it finally opens it finally opens after hours of tinkering and whatnot it finally opens and you know what finally i can turn on my change impossible evolutions for no trade evolutions am i even going to use pokemon who trade through evolutions only? Probably not, but just in case, right? All this work for this. Anyway, you're probably gonna do way more stuff. And it finally, finally works. After a million years, it works. And uh, that's probably the only guide you'll ever need. Hopefully in the future. See ya.